sprinting race ahead. The time, the record time is 1 minute 11.22 and that's held by Costanotti. And her orders, and they're away, and a pretty level break. Defena breaks smartly, never so bold, next to the rails, Chapel Cottage. And Aviance, and committed running quite freely up on the outside of Defena. But it's Aviance in the lead by length. To Chapel Cottage and Abhar, then just in behind these, Defena, Grey Desire is last. They run through the first furlong, and Aviance next to the rails. From Abhar in second place, and up on the outside of these races, Defena, and never so bold in behind them. Committed uh, comes with a run too. The, the back marker is Grey Desire. They've competed well over two furlongs. And Abhar in the red cap on the outside of Aviance Blaze from Chapel Cottage back in third, then Defena four committed five. Behind these comes Never So Bold and then Primo Domini. Um, just in behind these comes Dorney, the rank outsider. Just over two furlongs to race and Abhar goes for home. Paul Eddery commits from Aviance in second place. Defena coming with a run. Chapel Cottage coming with a run. Never So Bold in the hoop sleeves. Steve Cawthon getting to work, coming on the inside of Committed who has no more to offer. And with just over one to go, it's Never So Bold coming with a smooth run and Never So Bold coming through the Take up the running and Never So Bold coming through with the winning effort. Never So Bold going on from committed into Fader. Then comes Primo Domini. But it's Never So Bold, the champion sprinter now. Never So Bold wins this easily. Never So Bold is the winner. It's a photo for second between De Fader and committed second and third. Then came Primo Domini and Chapel Cottage and the early leader Aviance. Then came Grey Desire and Dorney and Abhar. And so champion sprinting status must now be definitely uh, on the crown. There is the head and the style of the champion sprinter Never So Bold owned in partnership by Mr. E.D. Kessler and Mr. George Tong, trained here at Newmarket by Robert Armstrong, ridden by Steve Cawthon, Steve's 94th winner of the season, and more importantly, as far as our champion sprinter, never so bold is concerned, he's pulling up very sound indeed. Remember, after his exertions at Ascot, he finished very, very lame indeed, but I must say there, he seems to be okay, so vets have indeed worked a miracle with never so bold. Officially, it's a photo for second place, between Committed and Defena. Defena and Committed in that photo. And let's just watch uh, the horse turn round. And in fact, I may just have been preempting him. He is certainly, John Oakes, here, looking a little bit uh, sore. Yes, he is, Graham. It's, it's after, he, it's always after he pulls up that the, uh, this extraordinary thing happens to him. And as you can see, he is undoubtedly feeling his legs and feeling them unpleasantly now. Um, he's not, I wouldn't say he's yet as lame as he was at Royal Ascot, but, uh, well, if he was in a sale uh, just at the moment, you certainly wouldn't buy him. But don't feel too sorry for him. I've no doubt it is uncomfortable, but uh, he recovers, touch wood, always has in the past, within an hour or so. Let's see how he won. And what a marvellous sight it is. Abha, once again, runs a tremendous race, as she did at Ascot, just going past Aviance there, with Chapel Cottage in third place, the Fainer fourth, and never so bold, fifth with the white noseband, as we join them. Abha goes on from Aviance, who's tried to make the running. There's a steward's inquiry, I've heard. I can't really think why, but maybe we'll see it now. Uh, Abha has gone just ahead of Avion. Staffena and Chapel Cottage are behind her. Chapel Cottage possibly doesn't get very much room there as Staffena comes through. But now look at Steve Corson on Never So Bold with the white nose band just outside Daphena and just about to press the accelerator on the fastest horse in Europe. And look at the result. Avions can do no more over on the far rails. Daphaina can do no more, and nor can Committed also in a white nose band, doing her level best behind, but there's only one horse in it. Never so bold, streaks away, wins exactly as Lester Piggott predicted he would win. He said he'd never be beaten again. Well, he's certainly not going to be beaten today. Committed and Daphaina disputing second place, but never so bold has sailed home.